Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of James Jam. I'm Jane, this is my jam. Just have a couple a little haul for you today and then wanna do a review of my uh, mini Chloe Woody tote for you. So I thought I'd do that. Um, To start off, I'll get right with the things I wanna haul. One thing is something I've shown before it's not technically luxury, you just saw it, but I would consider it luxurious. I got another pair of these, I believe it's called Carry Yuma shoes. If you like Vans or Converse and they bother your feet, try these. Converse isn't too bad for me, Vans are much better for me, but these are phenomenal. I mean, they look very similar to the two, but this is my fourth pair. I just adore these. I have them in orange, pink, uh, kind of a Tiffany blue and green. And I would like them in every color. And they come in some cool colors. They even come with characters. I know they did peanuts and stuff like that once too. So it's Carrie Yuma, C-A-R-I-U-M-A. -I so if you have not tried these, I would say give them a shot. They're awesome. They've been, they were going around social media for a long time because, um, Oh, I can't think of her name now. Um, oh, I can't remember. A celebrity, let's just put it that way, was wearing these and talked about how comfortable they were. And she's, oh, I can't, I think of her name. And I can't, I, all I can think of is she's in the Fast and the Furious movies and she plays, um, uh, oh my God. Jason Statham's mom. Oh my gosh, words are hard after a long day at work. Oh my gosh. So um, yeah, these are awesome. Um, I highly, highly recommend them. All right. Now the other thing I got, I just got here. I have not opened it yet. I mean, I did just open this piece off up so that I could actually um, show you what I got. I just saw this on the website and I had to get it. Um, and this was from Dior, um, and I just got two little things and I'm going to see what it's like, just like you are. So you open it up and, oh my gosh. Okay. It says Dior, but look at this. Isn't that something? I just think that's awesome. So I'm going to pull out my little... My little special, oh my gosh, it even says you're at the bottom. Is that, oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, that's a card. Words are hard. Okay, so it doesn't say it at the bottom. It says it here, but it says it on the card. So I'm going to just assume that this is just like, yeah, my receipt and stuff in the little card. But still, what a nice little touch. Oh my gosh. So I'm very pleased at presentation. Um, look at that. I just think this is so pretty and nice little bow. I just got to cut one of these out, I think. I'm going to put them up. I just think these are really neat. Um, I mean, the way uh, Dior, does, their design is incredible. Okay, so I have this. And then I got three things from Dior. The least exciting is a brush. And I, um, I got it to do um, eyebrow. It's, let's see. So let's see, eyeshadow shader brush 21. So it's just a shader brush. I love, I, as I don't have eyeshadow on today, but I love, um, having a bunch of different brushes for, um, eyeshadow. And I thought this looked really cool and it says Dior on it in the silver hardware, which is my favorite or silver lettering. So I got that from Dior. It's from their backstage line. Uh, another thing I got was an eyeshadow palette. And I thought this one was so pretty. Again, this is the from the Backstage um, collection. Let's see, does it have a name? Um, it might say what it is. Uh, khaki Neutrals. That's what it is. So let's look at this. Hopefully none are broken or anything. Um, okay. I love Dior's eyeshadow. Um, I think they have the palettes are nice. They're very um, pigmented. They blend and um, go on really well. And I've been very pleased with the other palettes I've brought in the past. Bought in the past. Okay. And so, 
Oh, these are nice. Okay, so here they are. Here are the colors in the palette. So khaki neutrals. Um, let's see. And they are, they give you the names of them. Um, or well, okay, I should say that's primer right here. That's primer. Um, this is a top coat right there. And then um, this one is a satin called golden tan. And then another satin called um, warm gold. This is a glitter shade called pure gold. Um, oh, what is it? Metal shade called emerald right there. Then this is a glitter shade. Sorry, you have to keep moving it to see what it says. Uh, khaki is right here. Warm brown is right there. And glitter fine green. So again, let me see those there. Aren't those pretty? So I got that. And then I got something else. Um, that I have the Dior Lip Glow. I, I love that. Um, I use it a lot. And I saw this and I had to get it. And you'll know why in a minute. Uh, Dior Attic Lip Glow. This, this one is in a kind I had not seen before. So I picked it up. Looks like normal, right? Pull it out. But look, it's green. It's Minty Rhodes. Smells good. It's, um, yeah, I just thought it was so cool. I hadn't seen it before, so. Hmm. Glides on nice. No taste. And a little bit of a smell. Not a bad smell at all. I know some of these can smell just horrible. Awesome. So that's that's my little haul for you. My Dior Lip Glow in the green. I just think that I got the green eyeshadow. I thought that was really cool. So, what better thing to show you today than my green Chloe tote? Um, okay, so this is again is the Chloe Woody Mini Tote. It comes like this. Um, this is all suede, and this is like a canvas suede. It's got two handles that do have leather grips on portion of each of those. Here's the side. The other side is the front and back are the same. It does come with a leather adjustable strap. See it there? There are no feet on the bottom. Um, and then it does have strips of leather. You can see them probably right here. They go down and around the bag to the other side. Now, um, this op is an open, it is packed as you can see. It's an open container. It is packed and it's still, I mean, there's no lumpy bumpies or anything here. I just think this is really pretty. It's coming up really true to color here. It might be a hair greener than it's showing up in here, but it's coming up pretty good. So just to give you an idea, I do have an organizer in here, but I'm gonna show you sideways what's in here. So I have contact solution because I just got back from the eye doctor. That's the no eyeshadow. My calendar. Uh, Chanel O case that glitters. Um, I keep my uh, cards and stuff like that in there. Uh, face mask. I didn't know if I need it or not for my appointment. Pen. Uh, key clay. Uh, Damien Zur. I use this for coins. So you can hear it. Speaking of Dior, I have my Dior wallet. I still haven't taken the plastic off of here. I suppose I probably should. Meredith, sorry. Um, I have a Louis Vuitton uh, card holder, reverse monogram. I have the six ring key pouch and the Damier Graffiti. My Dior uh, lip glow in the normal pink color. contact case. My Chanel mirror. A little thing for pills. Perfume. 
again with the Prada candy. Um, let's see, my badge for work. And that's it. Now that's, now I have a Samorga organizer in here, but otherwise it's a oh, big open compartment with one small slip pocket back here. And this is like a canvas inside here. Um, but it's light colored. And so I, I decided to get the organizer. I just didn't want to take a chance on it getting dirty. So nice Samorga organizer in there. It's got a pouch on this side and a pouch on the other side. So I just thought that was really nice. And now to get down to the nitty gritty, let's take a look or a measure here. I'm just gonna measure. So this is a pretty square bag. It's not like one of the ones that are thicker at the bottom than the top. So I'm gonna say the bottom here measures um, 10 inches. The side say probably good probably I would say this is a good three and a half inches is it let me check that yeah definitely three and a half inches the height go here eight inches the handle drop itself I would say is about four and a half inches. And then the strap, the strap drop, I have it at its, oh, sorry. The, um, there's five spots. I have the things put in two and three. And at that length, it is 21 inches. So it actually could go a little bit longer than that. So that is my Chloe Woodsy Tote. Um, I really like it. It's not too heavy. I was a little worried about that with the thick canvas and some leather and even a smorgas insert and then the suede, but it's not bad. What I don't enjoy though so far, and it'll probably get better over time, is trying to set this down. The bottom is rounded enough that I've been setting it down and see, granted it's on my hand, but I'm not kidding. It'll do that in a lot of places. Um, so I was setting it down. Like I said, I just got my eyes, my just um, at the eye doctor and I, I set it down and it fell and it fell. And let me just see if I can, I'm just gonna try to bring this up here to show you what I mean. So let's put the box top here. I'm gonna set this down. And as you can see, it does just tip over. And that's not because nothing's in it. But right now it is what it does. So that is a problem. Um, I'm not real concerned. Ah, ta-da. But um, because I think over time that'll fix itself, I just think, um, you know, you'll be all of stuff in it and it'll sit flatter like it's meant to sit. It's certainly not to, meant to sit rounded. Um, I think the leather here on um, there's kind of helping to promote that bad behavior of my bag but I, I do think it'll take care of itself um so I don't think that's too bad um but otherwise I love it I think it's great it's good looking I don't mind that it doesn't have a closure because it's you know when you're carrying it like this it's it's pretty closed up stuff isn't really coming out of there unless you tip it over I could probably tip it over with how I do stuff sometimes, but no, but yeah, all, all in all, I think it's a good bag. I, would I recommend it? Yeah, I think it's, um, I think it's very good quality. I would compare this again to like, I always do to the Celine, uh, nano, uh, mini tote. And I would say that, um, this is priced lower than that is granted the mini totes zip. This doesn't. Um, but I would say space wise, they're probably a hair bigger. This is probably a hair bigger than a, a nano tote and uh, it does have an adjustable strap versus a non-adjustable strap. Um, and it's very comfortable. The leather on the handles just makes it really nice and easy. Plus you have the strap. 
Um, all in all, I think it's a, it's a great bang. I would, I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, though, you got to watch out with the bottom. I mean, I probably should, you know, like be practicing doing this, um, on it a few times to get it to work, but, um, she's pretty, she is a pretty, pretty bag. I know that this comes in a darker brown, um, and it also kind of comes in a orangey, a more orangey, rusty kind of suede color, but I'm in love, of course, with the green. So um, I just really like the bag. So there's my little mini review on it um, for today. And I just want to thank everybody for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody who's been coming back and watching my videos. I put out vi videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I'm also on Instagram at jame underscore s underscore jam. Um, and you can find me linked down in the description box below as well. And so just want to thank you again for watching. Until next time, please do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Thank you for watching and goodbye.